What's going on YouTube Nightmare and I'm back here with another banger video and yes look y'all see today's title and thumbnail bro today I'm gonna be showing y'all the best Shopify apps that I use to get my brand to six figures bro If y'all don't know bro if you guys are new to the channel I started my clothing brand at 15 years old and I'm a year later now I'm at six figures bro I'm way over three hundred thousand dollars in sales So I'm gonna be showing y'all all the Shopify apps that I use to help because definitely Shopify apps definitely help you a lot I ain't gonna cap like a bunch of other sales channels other than just dropping and and making a website all that good stuff bro shopify apps do help bro and i'm here to tell y'all that literally i use shopify apps. my brand is over three hundred thousand dollars in sales and i'm still in high school and i'm 16 years old bro so and yes they do help you don't just want to use just any make sure you guys have a lot of apps that are on your online store and i'm going to show you them today if you guys are new make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe bro we are about to hit 10k soon and let's get straight on to this video bro red dirt baby i can't go back to broke this drink old same age as the pope open my eyes and i'm pulling it close walk in the store and i look for a leader granted just called told i'm going on tour keep me in your prayers while i turn up these turn up these pit bitch did like tuna help my pop look like each was help The best Shopify apps that help me scale my clothing brand to six figures at 16, bro. Y'all see the title, bro. Y'all probably like, bro, how did these Shopify apps help you six figures, bro? They help me crazy. Like, y'all would expect someone just to get y'all watching this video, bro. No, like, I actually use all of these. Like, I show y'all everything. Like, I'm telling you, I use all of these apps in this video. Y'all can see them on my website too as well. But for the first app we got, I'm gonna show y'all screenshots and all that. I'm gonna just talk about the app and all that good stuff. Y'all gonna see screenshots like popping up like right here and right here. First Shopify app we got is Frequently Bought Together. A lot of brand owners do not have Frequently Bought Together. It's a widget on the bottom of your website is where let's say someone wants to buy one beanie and then scroll down and it'll be like a little widget that has like discount codes and all that good stuff Like you can add. Add to cart straight from there from that widget. People could scroll down, see, oh, people bought this and bought this would you like to add it to your cart for a discounted price and y'all can see screenshots on, on the screen all that good stuff that's what frequently bought together is bro and a lot of people don't have it i do not know why when if you guys have multiple products sit down and watch this video go on your shopify apps none of these apps it hurts to get some of them are paid for some of them are free but y'all do need frequently bought together bro i think this one is paid i'm not really too sure if it's free or not but whichever one y'all can see on the screen the app the specific app that i use is gonna be on the screen it definitely helps bro definitely with them higher order value you purchases because instead of just getting one person buying one hoodie for the full price they could buy two hoodies three hoodies and the app makes it so much easier to add it to cart and all that good so if i can see literally it'll say the product size you pick the size add to cart product pick the size add to cart all on like a little widget like all on one page like let's say i want to buy let me give you a quick example let's say i wanted to buy a gray hoodie right you bought the gray hoodie, but you scroll down a little bit because you're probably like the customer probably wondering like what else on your site. So you pick the gray hoodie, you scroll down, and after you scroll down, you see gray hoodie plus this equals like the total price, but it'll be a discounted price. So like me personally, I charge my beanies $25 and this is $58. So it'll say something like $58 plus instead of $25, it'll be $15 or $20. So $58 plus $20 you could add this for a discounted price but that you couldn't get just buying it regularly yeah it's definitely a good way to give people discounts and all that good stuff a higher chance for you to get orders bro because people do love discounts I know y'all love discounts bro honestly y'all be spamming me yo can I get a discount bro y'all love them discounts bro I'm not gonna teach y'all how to set it up in today's video but it's pretty self-explanatory all these apps is not hard to set up you just gotta go through it step by step by step it's very easy for more people to buy multiple products that's more money more discounts more happy customers all that good stuff that's frequently bought together y'all know my opinion on that everybody should have that and if you have multiple products definitely have frequently bought together bro and that's for the first one but for the second one we got is notify back in stock a lot of clothing brands do drops and a lot of clothing brands just leave it tight 24 7 a lot of people has been asking me what they should do if they should keep it like exclusive drops or just have your brand open 24 7 i would definitely say leave your brand open 24 7 unless you want that limited sales you want the exclusiveness in your brand definitely do drops like but i would say definitely if you're just now starting out there's no way there should be a password site my brand got six figures over the course of four months selling one of these drop hoodies i literally dropped left the site wide open for months and i did eighty thousand dollars over eighty thousand dollars in august if y'all don't know how i marketed for that let me know in the comments bro, because a lot of y'all don't know this bro 
I made 80,000 in sales in August. This August summer break, I literally made um $87,000 in total sales off of having my site open for 24 hours. But I'm not gonna get into that all that into the video. If y'all want a video on that, comment down below. I could definitely make a video on that. Yeah, notify back in stock, bro. If you one of those, if you keep your website running 24-7, if you don't have a password page, definitely put notify back in stock because if, if you don't have no stock, but they definitely gonna click notify when back in stock. And then once you restock that item, you're gonna get that customer back. Basically, like all the customers you missing out on. It's kind of like an email list, but I would definitely say these are better than just having a regular email list because if you notify someone when that item comes right back in stock then whenever they want to buy it whenever it comes back in stock they go and buy it because they was already looking to buy it that's why i definitely recommend if you keep your website open if you don't do password pages definitely just have your product on and click notify back in stock because think about it and let's say you see my black beanies out of stock but you really want that black beanie I feel like if you once you click that back black beanie and it just says out of stock, people are just gonna exit the page because it's not in stock. But if you have the notify back in stock, then people would definitely say, yo, like I really want that. Let me notify when back in stock. And then once they will only get notified for this. They will get notified once this goes up because they've been wanting it. So definitely have it. I would definitely rate it a W in my books. That's notified back in stock. And that's the second one I got. We, bro, we already in too deep, bro. Also, let me know if any clothing brand owners, y'all got any more um, Shopify apps that y'all use that, all, that I personally haven't said in this video yet. But for the third Shopify app is Essential Shipping Mart. Y'all can see on the screen, all of these apps that y'all see on the screen is the ones that I personally use. Y'all need this. I know a lot of clothing brands. Y'all definitely need to have that at eighty dollars or at specific price to get free shipping or if you just offer free shipping off the bat but for clothing brands that do not offer free shipping make sure you have a price that people can meet that they will get free shipping off because that would just boost your sales up crazy like that will make the number go from one fifty eight dollar hoodie to two fifty eight dollar hoodies because you know what I'm saying? You get free shipping on that. People love free shipping. So definitely have that. Mine personally is once you get to $80, you got free shipping. So basically, if you buy two products, you get free shipping. So definitely, 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 I need that. An essential shipping bar puts it up on the website. I can show you right now on my website right now. So let's say I wanted to add the cart, right? Add to cart. Go to the cart. When people go to their cart page, they see that free shipping for orders. $80 and up, you know what I'm saying? This is essential shipping bar. This is literally the one I have on my website right now, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell you, these are crazy. So, add to cart, right? Once you add to cart, you're only 20. Y'all see that right there? Y'all see the cart, everything. You're only $20 away, bro. That's what ship essential shipping will do, bro. And me personally, I will cop that. You're only 22 away from free shipping. The customer said, yo, they really want free shipping. So they're gonna click that add to cart right here. Add to cart. Boom, congratulations, you got free shipping. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, now your order just went from $58 to look at that, 116 And all you missing is $5 less than what you would get or $6, however your shipping is. So that's definitely a double. Like, you're getting more money for just giving people free shipping. So I would definitely say it is a W, bro. Definitely cop that. It, it also gives people an easier way to see, like, oh, if I get another hoodie, I get free shipping. So... Y'all see that, and also an easier way to check out too, because y'all can see that add to cart right here. Y'all can see, you know what I'm saying, a little add to cart. So free shipping, essential free shipping bar is definitely a need. There's a there's other apps that do the same thing, but I'm gonna just show you the one that I use directly. Yeah, that's essential shipping bar. Definitely add it. Y'all should be adding these all to your to your Shopify right now, bro. Literally. All your Shopify. And the next one is all my clothing brand owners that be on Instagram, all my clothing brand owners that be on TikTok. Make sure you guys have Insta feed. A lot of people from clothing brands, and my friend told me this today, bro. He, he was telling me about how he bought from this clothing brand, but he didn't, he never knew they had an Instagram. So when they sold out, he went to their website because he just knew their website. So once he went to their website, it was nothing on the website. So he didn't even know what was going on. But on Instagram, the brand was talking about, oh, saying restock coming soon. This drop day, drop day, drop. You guys only post your drop day on Instagram. Definitely definitely have Instagram feed bro my friend just found out today that this clothing brand has an Instagram just because they ain't show their Instagram none of their social media is on their website this app is only Instagram I'm pretty sure you could find one from TikTok but I would definitely say if you guys want to spice up online store and you have a big Instagram like you really want to show people your what your Instagram is make sure you guys get insta feed it goes on your website at like the bottom page or wherever you want to put it and it just shows all your Instagram posts in a like little feed I need to get on that bro because people can scroll down see your Instagram oh this hard this hard this hard this would this 
product look like this is what the models look like like if you got mod mad models on your instagram feed then people on a, your online store gonna want to see that so you scroll down look at your whole instagram feed and plus it's like design crazy like it looks it looks tough on the website it's not no just regular instagram feed you know what i'm saying like they really on the um shopify app you could design you could customize it no matter how you want so that's why i'm saying everybody should have instagram feed definitely if we have a clothing brand yeah that means more followers more everything bro i know y'all want some followers bro put your instagram on your online store for real because you know everybody going to your online store not everyone gonna be on your instagram think about that for the next shopify app we got is postscript bro this is not a shopify app but what it technically is a shopify app but it is Postscript SMS marketing, bro. A lot of people use different SMS marketing, but me personally, bro, I'm telling y'all, I made over six figures just off texting people, bro. Texting people, bro. I'm telling y'all, Postscript is crazy. If y'all don't believe me, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, y'all gonna see a screenshot wherever in the video, but I'm gonna give y'all a little, it's way over six figures, bro, just off of SMS, bro. Literally, y'all know the text y'all get from clothing brands yo we just dropped i got made over six figures just by sending those out and people click text message and bought off my website that's crazy just off a of postscript so think about it if i never had postscript i probably would have been down what over a hundred and thirty thousand dollars like i would have been down over a hundred thousand dollars if i never had postscript that's how much money you're missing from sms marketing i'm telling you bro if you just now starting if you just now opening your site bro i'm telling you sms marketing is crazy that's what i tell everybody bro everybody sms 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 bro is your way of communicating bro so if you don't have that sms marketing you're literally doing your brand completely wrong bro you want to have sms marketing you want to have an email marketing too as well that's also on the list too email marketing and sms but me personally i, I made way more off of texting people with sms than email bro and that's what every brand is going to tell you bro sms 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 bro it's crazy because it sounds so simple but i'm telling you i was in your position too if i I'd person when i first started i never had sms when i had sms the first job i did on my sms went crazy Easy, bro because you want to know why i drop i marketed on tiktok i told people sign up put your phone number in and when this item drop i'm gonna tell you that when your item is gonna drop and it's that tough people gonna sign up bro i want to know when it's gonna drop people go on your website everybody buying an item i personally use postscript i like postscript like it look just gives a little pop-up i'm gonna show y'all too so when you love my website it's gonna load in most likely and then you're gonna see the i don't know if it's gonna show right now but it should say put your phone number in but I don't think it's gonna show it because I already exited out the thing. But if you don't, and then you click this little bottom right, get 10% off. Y'all can see this all right here. Enter your phone number. And when people put their phone number, then you text them. Yo, I drop, I'm dropping this and that. Just get you a little SMS family. That's literally what I'm doing. Y'all can see, get notified when we restock. Y'all see that? I promise y'all, if I was to open these right now, I'm going to text everybody and everybody's going to go on my sales. Y'all remember my last job. These beanies, these beanies, bro, I did over 2K SMS. Y'all see how it says get one hour early access? My SMS list did over $2,000 the first hour before the website was even open, bro. I texted people to password for the website went and people went on an hour before the drop and I was at over $2,000, bro. Like, I'm telling you, that's why SMS is crazy. That's it for SMS, bro. I can't stress this enough, bro. The information is only as good if you put the action in. So, if you just hearing this, then you don't put no action in. Hey, it's just information. The next Shopify app that we got is Track123. Track123 is basically a order tracker, tracker number where you could track your orders off of your website. Let's say you go on your website, if people wanna track their orders, they put in a number or they put in an email tracking number and they can see where they order is at. So also a way to lower like customer questions if you do pre-made and people could, instead of people emailing you, yo, when my order shipping out, they could go on Track123. Like, you could put it in your footer and all, all that good stuff. See me personally, I have it at the bottom of my website y'all see track order if anybody wanted to say yo where my order at like when my order coming like is my order on the way track order and once you set up track one two three and you get this page and you can put your number all that good stuff you just saved you a customer you got to reply on it. you just saved you time because less people are going to send you emails if they could just track your order right here because most time most of the time people is emailing you about your order this is a good way to get them emails off your back scroll down track order plus is also more professional too i like i, I think me personally i think if you have a track order on your website then it just means that like you you put that extra step into your clothing brand because you could you gave it with people to try their order most clothing brands don't do it they just put the website put the product down like honestly y'all see that that's why your product gotta look fire bro y'all see that y'all see that whole fitter thing it says contact 
policies and track order. So that's just me. That's just me personally, bro. You want to put that extra step into your website, gain that trust in your customer. Definitely track one, two, three. Next one we got on the list. Yeah, the last and final one we got is sales and stock counter. Y'all already know by the names of that sales and stock counter. Y'all see when y'all go on a clothing brand, it says in stock, ship next day. They got that too as well. So basically sales and stock counter, you click this, it basically scares your customer into buying fast. Let me give you a little rundown by scaring your customer. Look, you want to be me, right? Click a beanie, you would like a beanie. Let me get a beanie, bro. Hold on, hold on. How much beanies is left? Yo, should I cop right now? Wait, nah, there's six beanies left, bro. Y'all see that? Only six left in stock? Nah, I gotta get this right now, bro. I gotta get it right now. It's only six left in stock. So that's what stock counter and sales counter is. There's not really six left in stock. Y'all can really see. It's not really six left in stock, but it just scares your customer into buying more. You know what I'm saying? It's not a bad thing because if they really want it, they really want it. If they, it, hey, it could be six left in stock. You never know. So that's what stock counter is. And I think that they change the number like for every person. So I'm not really sure if it's that. Or if you want to, if you don't want to do that, like put a different number, you can also put like the real stock counter. So let's say there's like 70 left of these, only 70 left. And they go go on the website if they want your product enough. Oh, it's only 70 left. Let me cop right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good way to get more sales, get more um, conversions as well. So you definitely, it's not going to hurt you, bro. See this candy cane hoodie, only two left in stock. Y'all see that? And a person that wants the candy cane hoodie, now they going to really cop right now. They going to buy it right now. Cause it's, they see it's only two left in stock, so it gives that scare. They're gonna go and cop more and more and more. Let me know down below which y'all favorite app, bro. Which one? Let me know down below if y'all definitely gonna be adding these to y'all rotation. I definitely watch this whole video through. Put them all in your Shopify app. None of these are gonna hurt you, bro. I promise you. All these help me get to six figures, bro. I'm 16 years old, six figure clothing brand, bro. All of these help me get to six figures. And I just want to share that all with y'all. There's definitely a little bit more that I could add, but these are the, definitely the most important ones that really got up there. Like, I feel like all of these apps got me probably over $150,000. All of these apps combined. Nah, way more than that. Just look through these apps, bro. What can help you? Postscript. I definitely want everybody to add Postscript, bro. Y'all need SMS marketing, bro. Half of bro, all these clothing brand owners use SMS, SMS marketing, bro. You really got to be using it crazy, bro. Like, you really got to, if you get your SMS list up, bro, I'm telling you, one click of a button, you could get 500, 800 people on your website. All these things help me at 15 years old. Y'all know I started my clothing brand last August, and it is crazy where we at right now. Like, I got my own storage unit right now. Like, no, I'm not getting paid for these Shopify apps, bro. No, I'm not getting no commission, no nothing from these apps. If y'all learned something today, Hit that like button, subscribe, but we on the 10K. We on the road to 10K. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Like I just said, 10K on the way. I appreciate all you guys for watching, but fortunately, it is the end of the video, as I can tell. If you guys want to send any clothes to my P.O. Box, I will be doing a P.O. Box opening soon. I'm actually about to go check it right now. Because, yo, I just got out of school, like, an hour ago. That was it for this video, bro. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get y'all off the tripod so you can go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, end this video off with it. Hey, hey, y'all seen Consistent Naeem, bro. Consistent. I've been consistent crazy, bro. Tell y'all, New Year's, bro. New Year, new consistency, bro. I know I haven't been consistent, like, at the end of last year, but... That's it for today's video, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, bro. I love y'all, and shopstatementbrand.com. Put them on a new sun. I'm evil like Lucy Sun. A whole lot of bitches be hating on me because I got out of button. Had a far bed with my last bitch because she was just playing with my little time. I'm traveling the world at the Pope, bringing the praises right to my son. Shawty, you gotta be careful, you make me feel some tight way.